Um, this is a very lovely tune um, composed by Dave Tarras, whom you remember I mentioned the first lecture, one of the leading klezmer clarinetists of the first part of the uh, 20th century, uh, took the mantle of king of the klezmer over from Naftula Brandwine, um, Brown around the mid-20s or 30s. And he not only was a great player, but he also wrote a lot of wonderful songs. This is one that uh, is particularly nice, and it's also got a very uh, nice title, in my opinion. I'll pronounce it the best I can, and you can all correct me. Um, the title is, to the best of my pronunciation, Sha Sha Di Schwieger Kumt. Okay, I guess I did better on that one. <laughs> For those who don't know Yiddish, it's quiet, quiet, the mother-in-law is coming. <laughs> so it has a, a sort of a other significance. In any case, here it was as played by Dave Tarras in 1925. Thank you very much. Okay, now here's a tune that needs no introduction, but I'll introduce it anyway, and I'm sure I'll mispronounce it. Uh, but you all know it. Kozen Kala Mazeltov. <laughs> How did I do there? I'm getting better. Each time I do one of these concerts, I get a little bit better. My wife and I spent Christmas over uh, in the Catskills at a place called Klez Camp which is a, a wonderful place. Uh, well, it's not a place. They hold it in a different resort every year, I think. Um, but it's up in the Catskills every year, somewhere Christmas, New Year's time. We were up there, and um, they did have Yiddish lessons. But my wife took them, and I didn't. I was taking all the musical stuff. So next time, maybe when I go back, I think I will go back, I'll, um, 
I'll take some Yiddish lessons, and then I'll really get it right. <laughs> the trouble is my, when my parents were, would speak Yiddish, they would only do so at a time when they didn't want me to understand what they were saying. <laughs> so the point, their point was that I would not learn Yiddish, I think. Not that, they, not that I would learn Yiddish, so I grew up, of course, not learning it. In any case, the rough translation of this tune is Groom, Bride, Mazel Tov. It's a, it's a wedding song uh, wishing good luck to the bride and groom. So here's our version. I'm not sure who wrote this. I think it's just anonymous. Thank you. Thank you very much.